I'm very grateful uh, to be to, to, to be given the opportunity to speak here uh, to the organizers and also uh, I'm very grateful to the University uh, Postdoc for the hospitality. Okay, so uh, I'd like to start. Hmm? So this is a joint work with uh, Prohorov. So uh, um, so, I, so my talk is related to uh, something called the minimal model program. So uh, this started a long time ago, but uh, recently uh, uh, minimal model program in rough sense has been established in arbitrary dimension. And still it can be uh, refined, but uh, that's not uh, the intention of the talk. So uh, here I'd like to uh, work on uh, uh, dimension three uh, very precisely. So uh, the current uh, uh, direction of research is to do a general result in arbitrary dimension or to do something very specific in dimension three or four. Well, in my case, just three. So, uh, so just to set up uh, terminology, so uh, we work on uh, three folds. And uh, so given a threefold by a process called the minimal model program, we get either uh, something called minimal model Uh, so uh, we don't care uh, the, the precise definition. Whatever is needed later, I just uh, explain again later. And the uh, Q-conic bundle. Well, Q del petal surface. Uh, Q del petal uh, surface bundle, so Q del petal bundle. Or Q final threefold. So find about threefold, algebraic variety we is threefold, we get uh, up uh, through MMP, we get uh, one of these. And uh, so this means uh, So given a threefold, we make uh, some variational operation called the flip or uh, divisorial contraction. Uh, there are two cases. A divisor a surface is contracted to a, a curve or to a point. So uh, either to a surface to a curve or a surface to a point, a uh, point, zero dimension. And uh, today's talk is mainly uh, related to uh, Q-conic bundle, flip, and uh, and these three. Well, let me explain a little bit uh, the, the terminology. So uh, we only consider three varieties with terminal singularities. So there is a uh, formal definition, but uh, probably it doesn't make much sense to, to go through it. So uh, these are just uh, uh, have the following properties. Canonical divisor, it's a, a Q culture divisor. 
So, it, so it means there is a positive integer m such that m times kx is Cartier. And smallest, smallest such is called index. And uh, with this m, it's a uh, for dimension three. It's a mu m quotient of uh, isolated uh, hypersurface singularity. Uh, it's called C compound dual singularity, quotient of compound dual singularity. And in dimension three, particularly in dimension three, there's a lemma called terminal lemma. So uh, by this uh, one of them, uh, ABC, we mean the uh, quotient first mu m action on uh, x, y, z is uh, zeta to a, zeta to b, z, zeta to c times c. So this, with this action, uh, we take the quotient. The quotient singularity uh, is denoted by this symbol. And so uh, this is terminal if and only if a plus b plus c is either congruent to a, b, or c, modulo m. Um, so here I forgot the condition that a, b, c is relatively prime to m. Okay. So this is called terminal lemma. Uh, this is a, a classical result. But, and, uh, since Ian is here, uh, and let me just mention that for uh, uh, four dimension, this doesn't hold in higher dimension. So this is special in dimension three. So for four folds, uh, we don't have such a precise uh, statement. And so some experiments so uh, Mori, myself, and uh, David Morrison, and Ian Morrison. So it means that uh, in dimension four, it's just uh, impossible to expect anything similar. I mean, there are some tendencies, but uh, much, much more complicated. Okay, so that's dimension three. And for uh, contraction, Let f of x to z be uh, <coughs> the, the following property. So x is a threefold, and uh, it has only terminal singularities. And uh, z are normal, and f lower star o x is o z. And minus kx is f ample. Uh, usually we assume uh, q factorial. We assume that x is q factorial, meaning that every value divisor of x is uh, q cartier. And uh, f is. Uh, Q conic bundle if dimension Z is two and Q del petal bundle if it's one and Q funnel 
if it's zero. So I'm interested in this case. Okay? So uh, when we talk about a global uh, algebraic variety, projective variety, uh, we start with something uh, smooth. So we certainly have Q factoriality. And when we apply minimal model program, the Q factoriality remains. But later, when I localize, uh, uh, it's <coughs> it becomes a little bit technical. So uh, I'll explain that later again. <coughs> so uh, my title uh, is about q conic bundle and related topics. So uh, basically, this is what I'm uh, working on. So I'd like to uh, uh, mention uh, three problems. Some solved, uh, some still uh, remains open. So uh, one is uh, Iskopsky conjecture. So when f of x to z is a Q conic bundle, then uh, the conjecture says that z, the surface, has only dual singularities. <coughs> or if you like, it has only canonical singularities. So uh, it was, I think it's around 97, it was settled, proved that uh, Z has only uh, cyclic quotient. Uh, Kora and Prokhorov. So uh, this, uh, Iskowski uh, posed this conjecture uh, in the context of, uh, uh, of his uh, research on the rationality criterion of uh, algebraic threefold. So uh, let me state uh, Iskowski's pro uh, result. 197. So that uh, f of x to z be a conic bundle, q conic bundle, uh, with x and z smooth. Then uh, x is rational if and only if <coughs> 2 times kz plus delta is empty. So uh, in here, delta is the discriminant locus of uh, x over z. So it's a curve in, in z. And this is a linear system. So uh, um, this is under the assumption that as assuming assume one conjecture, assume one. So if you assume uh, that the base is always uh, 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 dual, then, uh, oops, still some, sorry, uh, assume one and 
arithmetic genus of delta is bigger than 18. So uh, Iskowski's uh, goal was to give a rationality criterion in terms of uh, uh, these objects. And uh, uh, this is to avoid various case-by-case uh, uh, -case treatments. And uh, this, uh, if, if, he, if he applies uh, MMP, uh, this can become uh, smaller, the other manif manifold it becomes smaller, but Z can have a, a quotient singularity, and if index is not one, uh, it's, uh, it's even unbounded. So it can consist of, uh, it can belong to a countable number of uh, families. And with this condition, uh, uh, V belongs to a bounded family. So it's uh, manageable. Okay. So that's how uh, this came out uh, in his research. Here? Ah, sorry. Uh, I, I I use the same symbol, but uh, <laughs> maybe if I put prime, will that help? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not really, yeah, I should have used a different symbol. Okay. Ah. Great, just, just leaving this for a moment. So since, you're not, since uh, probably many of you are not familiar with this, uh, let me try a test. So I consider a local, local version of this. Okay. So I start with a P1 times A2. So it's a projection to A2. So this is a uh, uh, obvious conic bundle. But I, uh, create a quotient. So x is a coordinate for p1, and y1, y2 coordinate for a2. And, uh, so I consider I consider an action like this. So uh, this has two coordinates, uh, two coordinate patches. So x, y1, y2, and one by x, y1, y2. And in each, on each, we take the, the quotient. So. Uh, And there are two, ah, so I assume ABC is prime to M. And uh, if we take quotient, there are two singular points. So both coming from the origin. So uh, one is this, and the other is uh, this. Yeah. And uh, the condition is that uh, the threefold is terminal. So uh, these this have to be terminal. And uh, Z, Z is uh, 1 over M B C. And uh, the conjecture is that this should be a uh, devel, meaning devel means B plus C is congruent to zero model. So uh, it's it's fairly easy uh, that uh, this implies this by using uh, this terminal lemma.
And uh, uh, again, this is special for three folds. <coughs> so for four folds, uh, uh, it doesn't work. There are easy counter examples. So, uh, uh, You can think of this by action like this. We impose a, a mu m action of this kind. <laughs> And M is odd. We got them um, sufficiently big. Then uh, three, uh, fourfold itself is uh, has only terminal singularities, but the quotient is uh, 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 is not terminal. So, uh, is not even canonical. So so. Uh, So this is terminal, fourfold to threefold, and z are not canonical. So this is uh, one of the cases we, we settled. So. <coughs> So uh, <coughs> if this is Q-conic bundle, then uh, Q is any point on Z, then ZQ, this is either AN, <coughs> uh, th th <coughs> then this is AN. And uh, actually, uh, at most, A3, except for uh, easy cases. So here we can. So we saw uh, uh, a very standard one, the, a product, uh, product type divided by the, the group action. So uh, in this case, uh, if, C is, if C is congruent to minus B, uh, we have a terminal uh, Q-conic bundle. So uh, M can be any, anything, any big number. So that's one of the cases, and there is another case. And except for those, except for those two cases, uh, singularity of Z ZQ is at most A3. Uh, uh, A3 means x, y equals Z, uh, let's see, 1, 4. And the second problem, we have a partial solution. <coughs> so uh, here, uh, so earlier we could consider a, a global Z and the global X. Here we work on a germ. 
And so, uh, we only uh, look at the small neighborhood around Q of Z. And we look at X like this. And uh, <coughs> so in this, in this neighborhood, we consider a general member. Then uh, the conjecture says that uh, this has only uh, dual singularities. This was the, uh, uh, conjecture of this type was first uh, uh, considered by uh, Myers Reed in his uh, work on uh, uh, three dimensional terminal singularities. But it can, uh, various variations of it has been uh, considered. And again, uh, somehow it works very well for three folds but doesn't work for four folds or higher. Yeah. <coughs> and so, so this, we only have a partial solution, so. So general, Elephant conjecture. Hold if F inverse Q is irreducible. So, in general, uh, fiber above uh, point Q can be uh, a tree. I mean, just a priori, there's a possibility. The, the, uh, it's much more restricted, but still uh, it could be reducible. But here, the result says that if it is irreducible, then uh, uh, general elephant conjecture holds. So we have some ideas on how to attack the general case, but uh, it's still ongoing project. And the third is uh, classification. So uh, Phillips uh, divisional contractions and uh, uh, Q-conic bundles, those are, are the very uh, standard uh, objects in this uh, three-dimensional bilational geometry. So I want to uh, understand as much as possible. And one of the, the obvious uh, interest is to classify them all. Yeah. So. Uh, So assume that this is, so again, I consider a jam, jam over surface, and a Q-conic bundle over it. And I assume that this is smooth. Ah, I forgot to say that. So uh, 
given a Q conic bundle, uh, it's set, it's known that this is only a uh, uh, cyclic quotient singularity. Say uh, it is C2 uh, by uh, obtained by from C2 by mu m quotient. And we take the universal covering, and uh, we take fiber product and uh, normalization. We get uh, a picture like this, and then we, so we start with a Q conic bundle, and we end up with Q conic bundle. So, uh, a priori, uh, to classify this, we, if we classify these and take mu, uh, study all the actions, we can classify this. So it seems uh, uh, this is easier to work on. But the fact is that uh, we have a classification of when z is singular, but uh, we don't when <laughs> z is smooth. Okay, so, uh, but anyway, uh, let me start with the uh, uh, standard uh, result, uh, I mean, to put things above it. So, index two. So, uh, I assume that base is smooth, and uh, total threefold has only index two singularities. So, in this case, uh, x is embedded in uh, z, and p. One 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 two. So weighted projective space. So x, y, z, and u. So they have weights one 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 and two. Okay. And this is a two two uh, complete intersection. So for index is two, we have a fairly good description. Uh, two two means uh, uh, it's a intersection of two uh, weighted uh, hypersurface of degree two. So suppose u equals something. So this is uh, weight two. So if u appears with quotient one. Uh, uh, it's uh, something we can just eliminate you out of uh, other variables. And if we eliminate you, then it's just uh, uh, P2, and it's a conic on P2. So it's a usual conic bundle. But when index 2 is allowed, then uh, uh, we may, we have to add uh, uh, degree to, weight 2 variable. So that index too. So uh, and when case Z Q is singular. So it means if M is bigger than one and uh, so arbitrary index of x. So in this case, the, the result is uh, it's not a direct, uh, directly obtained result, but f of x to z is a mu m quotient uh, of uh, So Z prime is a uh, uh, universal covering of Z. And, uh, and the fiber product, uh, fiber product and normalization is a 2-2 two -two complete intersection. So uh, we have to analyze the, the action. But there are quite a limited number. So M is 1, 2, or 4. 
So when when this is similar, then uh, we can study this. So it may look strange, but uh, the reason is that uh, we study we start with a local description of uh, uh, C embedded in X, and when Z is singular, uh, the possibility is very much limited, and we can really work out all the cases. Okay, so uh, for the classification, when base is singular, then we have uh, the, the result. But when base is smooth, uh, uh, we are still working on it. Yeah. And uh, for the, for Iskowski's conjecture, to prove that Z has only dual singularities, we can certainly assume that Z is singular. Yeah? And we use classification and uh, uh, we can work out. Okay, so... Uh, So probably it's not interesting to go through the, 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 the list of classifications. So let me uh, talk about uh, uh, mm, how to say the, the technical difficulties between local and global versions. So uh, so here. We started with something global, but then we uh, go to uh, localization. Yeah. And, uh, and the same problem, similar problem occurs here. We go to uh, covering. Now, um, we want to work on uh, Q factorial singularities. But if we take a double cover, uh, so, sorry, uh, covering and take normalization, uh, this may not be uh, Q factorial. And the uh, same here, if we start with something Q factorial, algebraically Q factorial, but if we go to uh, analytic jam, it may not be uh, Q factorial. Yeah. But uh, at the sake of Q factoriality, we wanted to, uh, uh, to work on uh, analytic versions, analytic jams. Okay, so, uh, So in our approach, I mean uh, analytic germ approach, so X uh, is not assumed Q factorial. Um, uh, so this, this is particularly a problem when uh, we consider a, a divisor to a curve contraction. So let me give you an example. So originally, uh, uh, Prohorov and I stud, uh, started working on uh, uh, Q-conic bundles, but gradually our interest uh, uh, extended to uh, uh, divisor to curve contraction and uh, uh, whatever <laughs> approach can be applied. Okay. So here is a toric example of uh, Francia. Um, so if you're not familiar with the toric uh, geometry, uh, uh, let's pretend that you know uh, what it is, and later uh, you can figure out from the, the, from the global picture. So it's a, a threefold 
along a rational curve and with uh, one quotient singularity, one half of one, one, one. And uh, it can be contracted to a point. So this curve can be contracted to a point. And this is a flipping contraction. So in other words, canonical divisor is negative with respect to this contraction. But uh, so to understand this, we blow up uh, this point. Then this is P2. Now, so this is smooth, and uh, so uh, this curve, uh, so there, there you can see the one, two, three, four, five uh, surfaces. They're all uh, torus uh, stable. And the curve, and they're all smooth. So this curve is uh, a curve in the surface, so it has self-intersection. So it's uh, minus one, minus one, minus two, minus two, minus two. And uh, so this has intersection number zero with a canonical divisor. And there is some process called flop. So uh, it means you contract this, this curve and then it, you stretch it in a different direction. Now you, uh, this P2 goes here. Now you contract it in a uh, vertical, well, in this direction. Uh, this is franchise flip. So basically, uh, uh, if you start either from here or here, you can uh, easily construct the, the analytic neighborhood, and uh, you can go back. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, but this is not uh, what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the contraction of uh, this. So this becomes an ordinary double point. Here, if we contract this, it becomes an ordinary double point. And this is P2. So, uh, so thi this is our uh, example. So it's a uh, threefold with only uh, terminal singularities, and uh, uh, irreducible surface is contracted to a point. But uh, uh, so. Uh, if, if everything is Q-factorial, uh, if a divisor is contracted to a point, the bottom has to be uh, uh, Q-Gorenstein. But here, it's not Q-Gorenstein because it's a contraction, uh, it's a target of flipping contraction. So uh, the problem is that the, this uh, exceptional divisor is not Q-Cartier. That's the source of the whole problem. Yeah. So it can cause a very uh, tricky problem. Yeah. So uh, exceptional set of F, not Q quality.
But somehow, in our case, this is not something uh, we have to worry about. So, uh, so divisorial contraction. So divisor is contracted to a curve. So F inverse Q is a curve. Then uh, divisorial part uh, exceptional set of F is Q Cartier. So in this case, threefold is contracted to a threefold, unlike the Q conic bundle case. And then, uh, so in this case, divisor is contracted to a point, so two to zero. But in our case, two to one. Then, uh, so we, without assuming that uh, x is q factorial, uh, the divisional part of exceptional divisor is uh, q Cartier. So let me give you an idea. So it's a it's a jam around a, actually the jam around a curve, and a, the problem occurs only at single points. There are only finite number of them, and we can. Uh, deform. Uh, maybe this is not a good way, but we, we can deform uh, as generic as possible. And then, uh, since it's a curve, uh, jam around the curve, and uh, only finite number of singular points, uh, we can sort of globally extend the, the deformation. So. Uh, so x sits in. Uh, X. So this is threefold, but this is fourfold. And <coughs> by uh, and then uh, so omit omitting the details, uh, we have a contraction. So uh, it's a parameter. Now, uh, another, another feature of dimension three is that these are uh, uh, cyclic quotient, sing uh, quotient, singular uh, quotient of uh, hy isolated hypersurface singularities. And uh, they sort of extend to, to x. So uh, every singular point is a quotient of a hypersurface singularity. And uh, in that case, uh, 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 they are known to be factorial. Every such singularity is uh, Q factorial. I mean, since they are quotient, they are Q factorial. The index one cover is factorial. So everything, uh, every divisor we consider here is uh, culture, Q culture. And we, since we restrict it to X, we have a, a Q culture divisor. And uh, so uh, we may try <laughs> to do the same thing here. So we can certainly deform the singularity, but it's a surface, so there is obstruction to deform, and it doesn't work. Yeah. So, uh, in that case, that obstruction vanishes. Here? Right. Yeah, yeah, for, for, for curve jam, there is no obstruction. I mean, the, in other words, obstruction vanishes. In principle, uh, you just uh, construct arbitrarily, and they, you put just uh, identification. 
you don't have to worry about the compatibility of identification. But for surface case, at least three touches meet, and you make identification on each, then you have to worry about if they, they match. But in this case, the only two, and if you construct the covering carefully, only two matches. So <laughs> no, no compatibility problem. That's why uh, we have no obstruction for the curvature. So let me briefly uh, explain the, the, the approaches. So we so for the for the proof of these problems, uh, we start uh, the basis is a local classification of C, and then uh, using it we have we study uh, we construct good members of uh, either minus kx or minus two kx. And uh, these are done by myself a long time ago, uh, 88. And uh, in some cases, uh, I pr produce only a member of minus 2k. But uh, we could uh, construct uh, a good member of minus k out of this. That's done by. Uh, Coral and myself. That's for a uh, uh, divisor to uh, div that's for divisorial contraction. And from this, one can uh, get a member of OX passing through C. And uh, once you have this, uh, uh, this is very close to, well, not all the time, but uh, this is, in some sense, close to classification. If you have a hyperplane section, by deformation technique, one can uh, say something about uh, the original. And uh, so what I and uh, Prohorov did is to to uh, to supplement this local classification. I mean, most of it works. We just have to uh, supplement a little bit. And same here. And uh, so, uh, <coughs> so to go from here, uh, or to go from here to here, uh, we consider the following. So. Uh, So suppose we have E in minus 2kx. We have a standard exact sequence. And uh, <coughs> we take h0 to h0. So uh, to, go, to get a good member of minus k, First, we consider a good member of minus k on E, and we want to extend it. Yeah? And uh, we are happy if this is on to. Yeah. So when f is birational, um, 
when f is birational, when f is birational, this is zero by real dimension either, so we're happy. But when this is Q-conic bundle, it is not. <laughs> so uh, that's why I didn't uh, work on this. <coughs> but uh, we realized that uh, <coughs> this is H0 of omega e. So suppose this is Q-conic bundle. So we have e. So this is G lower star O E. And I assume that Z is smooth. Then this is omega Z. Yeah. So it comes down to a question of what this map is. This is just trace map. Yeah. And uh, we even have a section, uh, this pullback. I mean, if we go, go around it, uh, it uh, it's a multiplication by two. Yeah. So uh, since, since this is not zero, uh, we given, given an element, we cannot find an element map there. But uh, with this trick, if we modify something coming from here, we can make it zero there. <laughs> so it comes back here. Yeah. So modulo some element from here, uh, uh, there is a, uh, I mean, modulo, some, modulo this map, uh, this is surjection. And the uh, curious thing is that when the uh, fiber has a bad singularity, let's say at the point P, we can analyze this at that point, and we can see that uh, it's certainly, uh, uh, we can certainly lift uh, essential part of a section. So that's how it goes. And uh, to go from here to here, we will see the, the same kind of uh, uh, oops, this is not 2 to 1. So this is my going through, uh, it's a 4 to 1. So if we start with uh, element D minus K and we want to, we want to consider we have a similar situation and basically the same. So many things uh, we did for a uh, birational case can be uh, extended to uh, conic bundles. Yes, I, I think I'll stop here. Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions?